you've probably asked yourself, how does someone react to genocide? Like this. We your babies here. The answer is, they've been conditioned to. And it starts in their education system. Here are three examples of how Israel teaches the dehumanization of Palestinians. According to this Israeli professor's research, Israeli textbooks show Palestinians, or Arabs as they're called, as caricatures of primitive farmers, hordes of refugees, or they're masked and painted as terrorists. You cannot find one photograph of a human being who is a Palestinian. And it might explain how you end up with videos like this. We need to kill the Arabs. <laughs> The way they are represented are as the problems and threats. And since they never or hardly ever meet Palestinians face to face or speak to them, although they may live 50 to 100 meters from them, this is what they know. If you type map of Israel in Hebrew into Google, this is what you'll get. Notice how a lot of these maps have no clear markings showing the occupied West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Gaza Strip all of which are internationally recognized as illegally occupied Palestinian territories. You'll also find this map in Israeli textbooks. It's how you end up with illegal settlers colonizing more and more Palestinian land, claiming it's their God-given right. It's all this, what you see, and you think. it's belong to Israel. And it's how you end up with scenes like this. You have this necklace? That's Palestine, yeah. This is Israel. <laughs> Students in Israel are taught about the Holocaust starting in nursery school all the way to the 12th grade. Part of that learning is looking at horrifying images or exercises that encourage students to put themselves in the shoes of the victims and relate to the experience. The identification of students with the victims isn't a coincidence. It's an intentional policy by the Israeli Ministry of Education. It's how you end up with a society where, according to one Israeli professor, every Jewish Israeli citizen is a Holocaust survivor or a potential victim of future Holocaust-like events. The goal is traumatization and revenge, and not to let the fire of vengeance die out. However, this vengeance is not directed towards the German persecutors and their collaborators in Europe, but towards Palestinian colonized subjects who are Nazified. <laughs> The fact that Palestinians had nothing to do with the Holocaust and that they are the ones currently being exterminated seems to be irrelevant. With this weaponization of the Holocaust, Zionism isn't seen for the settler colonial racist ideology that it is, but as the savior of the Jewish people. And it's this thinking and this fear that is weaponized to justify the violence of the Zionist state that it must exist and do whatever is necessary to defend itself so that another holocaust would never happen again. That's how you end up with videos like this. It is a terrorist organization which murders Jews because they're Jews. Once the Jewish people were defenseless, no longer. So why does this matter? Israelis spend 12 years in this education system, teaching them to dehumanize Palestinians and see them as people looking to eliminate Jews not an oppressed, colonized people looking for freedom. And once they graduate, most Jewish Israelis will go straight to the military to do their two to three years of mandatory service, where they become the front lines of apartheid and occupation. That's how we end up with videos like this. <laughs> So why do all this? Well, Israel can only exist as a Jewish state if it manages demographics to maintain a Jewish majority. And it does so by displacing, imprisoning, and murdering Palestinians routinely. And the only way to get Jews to participate in this is by convincing them that it's the only way for them to exist safely. Seeing Palestinians as people who want to live in peace and be free doesn't fit into that plan. Subscribe for more and support us on Patreon.